Yes, he's, he's waiting just outside. Send him in. Mr. Ambassador. Mr. Ambassador. Mr. President. Please. Thank you. Please, uh, allow me to begin by extending to you and the American people, my country's most sincere sympathies on this horrific tragedy. If there is anything our people can do in response to this tremendous act of cowardice, rest assured, we will do it. I appreciate that. You can begin by removing your destroyers from the Strait of Hormuz. Mr. President, excuse me, but I believe you have been misinformed. Is that a fact? Well, yes, we, we have moved no such destroyers into the Strait of Hormuz. My Defense Department has war game this out. They're waiting for me to give them the green light, which I assure you I will do, unless you pull your destroyers back to Bandor Abbas within the next three hours. Mr. President, I Mr. Will... Ambassador, you may not know much about me, but what you should know is that I'm about as straight a shooter as you're going to find in Washington. So you should believe me when I tell you that I do not want, as my first act as Commander-in-Chief, to attack Iran. But as both of us know, it's not always up to us how history plays itself out. Now, I have chosen to believe that your country is not playing on our emotions tonight, but nevertheless, you will feel the full impact of them if you do not comply with my demands. Mr. Ambassador, dock your destroyers, or the lead story on the morning news will not be about the attack on our capital, but the devastating attack on yours. Please, Mr. Ambassador, let's not get off on the wrong foot here tonight. Mr. President, I will speak with my government. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Mr. Ambassador, this way. Mr. Ambassador. Three hours. 